everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and I am your host for today. So as you saw in the thumbnail, we are doing the Harbor Freight mod that a lot of other people have done. So I am doing it because, well, like a lot of you, if you're watching the video, you're DIYers and you wanna save a little money and do it yourself, right? I also have an old tire balancer back here, um, you know, that I picked up off Marketplace. I think I paid 10, 15 bucks for it, works really well. So I have balanced a couple tires with it, but I just bought the Harbor Freight black version or the new version that they just came out with. Um, and I picked up a duck bill. Uh, there actually is a couple different styles. Um, one I ordered by accident is it's the same duck bill, but it is missing the mounting holes. All it is is for the, you know, tapered tube to fit through her pipe. So I went ahead and ordered the right one and I'll send the other one back. So that has the holes in it so that we can mount it to a piece of flat steel. And then I also bought a cone. So the cone I picked off of eBay, it was like 12 bucks, $13 off eBay. Um, I think I paid $19 for this off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description for here. I'll, I'll put a link for these in Amazon too, because um, the eBay ones, I have no idea when they sell out. And, you know, the same goes true for Amazon. These sell, I think, for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And I also bought this guy here, you know, to you know give it the quick shot of air, you know, seat the bead. So anyway, let's unbox this sucker, throw it together real fast, and then we'll start the heart and rate modifications. Now, guys, here it is assembled. Uh, it only took a few minutes. And the one thing that I'm already having a problem with is their welds stick way out past the tube, and so that won't fit. So I have to grind down their weld out here. As like I said, it sticks past the tube, so then I can slide the cone down and let it fit. Um, you can see they provide you now a rubber pad. So the rim sets on the rubber pad. There's also a rubber pad down here um, that sits on top. So that way, you know, hopefully it doesn't scratch up the rim. You can still put a, you know, another floor mat or something down there, obviously to protect it even more. Um, you know, so here's the pin they give you. I will probably put a bolt in here. Um, so that way, you know, the four and a half inch rim that I'll be messing around with mostly. I do have a four and three quarter. We'll just, you know, maybe uh, cut that rubber just a little bit. So, you know, the, the nut won't, uh, won't pinch it. But other than that, it was simple to assemble. Now let's dig into actually making the changes. All right, guys, so here's what I've come up with so far. Um, I actually have a piece of square tubing that fits real good to this. So this will be the arm that sticks out. Then what I'll do is I'll weld this tube to this, and then this will be the vertical tube that fit the duck bill will mount to. And you can see I've cut out a piece of flat steel about eight inch thick that I'll weld to the bottom of this tube. And then what I'll do is you know, draw a hole here, draw here, here, uh, weld the nut, weld the nut, so that way we can tighten this to the arm. And then we'll weld a, you know, a, uh, a nut here, um, and then add a bolt to it as well, so that way we can tighten the arm here. Um, you know, so that way the duck bill will be tight when we put it to the uh, rim. Um, this will, adjustment will be tight to this. You know, so as we get our position, so we can position the duct bill correctly, and then I'll weld this to that vertical piece over there that I'm currently cutting. Okay guys, all you need to get a contour on your pipe to connect to another pipe, like so, is an old flap disc. And all I do is I just kind of work it, work it, work it, until I get the contour that I want, and I keep checking it to the tube. So for me, this is close enough, and then we can weld it. So 
guys, one thing I did is I wrapped some tape around that to try to protect the rim. And the other one broke off pretty easy. Right, guys because my centering cone here was too small and it would basically drop down in there and there was a big gap around it you know i set this one on there the harbor freight provide and they taped the hell out of it real good um you know so it rests against the ram hopefully it doesn't cause any damage like the other one didn't tighten this up and now we'll go ahead and set the arm up here and we will spin this sucker off in hopes that it comes off nice and easy the test tire did, so hopefully this video comes out a little better. This is my first time ever doing this. All right, guys, so I've got this set up. You can see she spins nice here. Uh, I lubed her up with some simple green. I don't have any tire lube, so that's what I went ahead and used. So now what we're going to do is take my pry bar here, stick it down in the duck bill, stick it down in the duck bill, Try the other way. Stick it down in the duck bill. Okay. Puff the tire up like so. Grab the big bar. All right, and we're gonna go counterclockwise. I will admit this would be 10 times easier if this was bolted to the floor and not to a piece of plywood. Now, okay, same thing. Go down on the duck bill, grab the bottom of the tire, flip it up. Grab the big bar again. And you can see, there you go. Voila guys, tire's off. Now let me take a minute, clean up the rim and I'll show you how to put the new tire on. The duck bill guys kept uh, wanting to go under the tire and not, you know, kind of pull it down. So I just spun it the other way real quick and she took the tire right down. So now what I'm going to do is just put a little lube on the top here. Not much, just enough to make her slide and seat.
And just like that, guys. Now, I've got this style here. It's got an electronic gauge, you know, with hose. Came with, you know, a fitting, right, to air up, fitting for your air hose, the air hose fitting that I have on it, plus a valve stem tool. Um, I got it from Harbor Freight because I was there when I was buying the Harbor Freight thing, but you can also get that, these off Amazon. So I'll throw a link into Amazon for this and the duck bill and stuff. So we've got her hooked up. First thing I like to do is just kind of make sure we got her up against the rim and try to give her a, a pop and there she goes. You can quickly throw in your valve stem if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and remove this and make sure that the backside is truly seated. So guys, overall this worked pretty good. Um, yes, it did spin a little bit. Um, so one thing I'm thinking about, until I can find some square tubing that'll fit inside of this, you know, maybe welding put this rod in here, you know, in all these four corners as a temporary thing. Um, just to help, you know, this from maybe moving as much or rotating a little bit on the, uh, on the round tubing. It did pretty good, um, but I would recommend if you can go square and square, square and square to do that. This is what I had available to me. I'm in a hurry because like I said, I have an event in a couple weeks and the tire places kept giving me, you know, lip service about, oh, you got to schedule it. I'm for several weeks out. So I went to Harbor Freight, bought this, whipped this up with what I had here so I can get my tires done. A minute ago, guys, I mentioned using square here. I would recommend using round here, square and square here. Um, so that way, you know, this doesn't twist like this while you're using it, right? Um, and then keep the round tube here. That's not a problem for that. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and stick the rods in there for right now. Hopefully it'll help keep it, you know, probably still move a little bit, but you know, if I can find some square tubing, I will cut this off weld on a new piece of square tubing and then keep this you know so it can slide in and out so anyway that's the only real change i'm going to make to mine other than painting it so it looks pretty so guys it's a you know fairly short video i'm trying to keep it to about you know eight to ten minutes to keep your attention span but uh you know overall it worked really well um like i said i would mount it to the floor for one um two i would do the square tubing Otherwise, everything else I was happy with. Um, pretty much I went 12 inches, I think I went 12 and a half inches up, and then I went about 12 inches out, if you will, um, on the arms. Um, and then, you know, I think I'm, yeah, about 12, 12 and 12 all the way around, somewhere in that area, you know, for the three, you know, pieces that slide around. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, the duckbill works pretty good when you can get it set right and, you know, get it to spin. Um, I'm not a professional by any means. It was only my second tire I ever took off is the one you saw. So, you know, I, with time, right, it'll get better. I definitely want to make a stud to come up where this tire sits to keep that moving better than just a little slide and pin. So there's a couple other minor changes I want to make. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Hope uh, you enjoyed it. Gave you some ideas on, you know, how this works. I was really happy, you know, with it. Um, I was able to get it for 45 bucks. They had a 25% coupon day for the Harbor Freight unit. You know, uh, I think I've got $90 in this whole thing. Um, you know, the two tires I just changed and, you know, I've got a small little bubble balancer here. Uh, you know, that's probably what, 35 bucks, 30 to $40 a tire, depending on your market to do. So this just paid for itself right there. If I'm able to get rid of these other three tires up those rims, they're having uh, a month from now a tire disposal day where I can dispose of tires. And then in the future, I, you know, I've got a small little trailer that needs tires. I can swap the tires out on that. For the GTO here, you know, it's going to need four new skins at some point. So, you know, I can mount those up on some rims. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I'll have use for it, you know, over time. So I want to do a couple of enhancements to it. But like I said, hopefully this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day in your shop. Try not to get too frustrated over this. It's definitely a learning curve. 
you know, the first time you do it, first couple times, you know, you'll learn the little knack, if you will. And then you'll get better at it. Anyway, take care, guys.